This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm going to show you what to do if your dog smells fishy. Some at-home remedies to take away the smell. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Today's video was in part inspired by someone who came up to me and said, my dog has this horrible fishy smell all the time. It's a small breed dog, kind of like Tula, who's our demonstrating dog today. First of all, they, they asked you, what can I do? And, and also, what can I do about the smell? So the first thing, I mean, the most common thing, anytime we're having a small breed dog in particular, but any dog, and they've chronically got this kind of mm, really nasty, almost fishy smell, more often than not, they have some type of anal gland problem. More likely, they've been trying to express their anal glands, or their anal glands aren't being expressed naturally on their own. So first of all, if, if that is the case, I mean, the first thing I always suggest, you know, I, the common sense thing, just have a look at your dog. You know, where is the odor strongest? Where do you think the smell is coming from that is the strongest? You know, secondly, you're going to have to, you know, lift up your dog's tail, have a little, have a little bit of a look, which we're going to do here on Tula. Good girl, Tula. So I'm not going to express Tula's anal glands to show you where they are. And then I'm going to cut into the video, which I did with Lewis, which shows you how to do it. Good girl, Tula. So the anal gland are these two little sacs. They sort of lie just underneath the end of the anus, and they lie at four. If you think about a clock, they're lying at four and eight. So they're right there where my fingers are. I can touch your bum. Right, right below uh, her anus. And they're there to secrete a watery, smelly fluid. And the thought is it's more to give a scent uh, to the poop or to the stool. Let, let other dogs know I've been there. But beyond that, they don't really have any real big purpose. Really, they're called anal glands or scent glands. Often in veterinary practices, dogs would come in, they'd be really scared, and sure enough, they release their anal glands. You get that horrible smell. So if you've got a dog that's got that horrible smelling, fishy smell, more than likely he or she has an anal gland problem. And have a better look at your dog, you know, lift up their tail, identify where the smell is coming from. Then the first thing is examining those anal glands. So what I want you to do now is first watch this little section of my video with Lewis, when it, when it, where I'm actually showing you how to properly express your dog's anal glands. And I don't need to do it with Tula, and she's gonna be most happy for that. Here is a little container containing some lubrication. This is some KY jelly. So you're lubricated. Here's some paper. Here we are at the back of Lewis's. We're just going to pick up this tail. I'm just going to move him here so you get the prime view here, which hopefully you can see here. See his tail up in the air. I'm just trying to make sure you guys can see here. So there's my finger here, my index finger pointing in, and I'm using my index finger inside his anus, and I'm squeezing with my index between my thumb and my forefinger here. I'm, I'm squeezing that, and I can feel a little bulge in there. Here, and here I'm running it back and forth, and this is at the, and this is the left side, so I'm feeling the left anal gland. And I would just give it a slight squeeze, his tail up, and I'll just have this paper here. Likewise, his left side, you can try it in your own dog. Just put your forefinger inside their anus, um, sort of move it back and forth. You'll feel a little bulge or a little bloom. Likely, to, likely if you feel that, what you're feeling is the anal gland. I give a, a firm squeeze. There it is, anal stuff. But what I wanted to do in this video is give you some tips about expressing the anal glands and also some things that you can look at applying to help decrease the smell. So the first big thing, you may have watched the video and I'm using some gloves where I'm directly uh, digitally expressing those anal glands. First big suggestion, get yourself some exam gloves, obviously. But what I suggest is to double glove. So you've got, you know, this is a large size where it says, um, just a, a plain old latex exam glove. I picked up a huge box of about a hundred, you know, about five dollars. Super inexpensive. So just double glove and you're gonna do it. They're inexpensive. You got two gloves on. So after you've done the expression, good girl Tula, we're not gonna do it to you today. 
But after that's happened, and you've done the expression, then you can take the outer glove off, right? and then you can actually dispose of that. So most of that, some of that smelly anal gland material is in that. So that's a real easy way to have, you know, less, less smell period within your house. The next thing, which I do show in that video, but is part obvious too, is when you're doing that anal gland expression, have, you know, I've got wrapped up pieces of toilet paper, paper towel, have that shielded at the back um, of your dog's bum. So when you're doing the expression, most of that anal gland material, hopefully it's gonna come out you know, partly in the glove and also on the end of this towel, not sort of on the table, onto you. And you know, you're real shielding yourself from getting covered in anal gland smell. I mean, it's something I always tried to do in veterinary practice, you know, the first time I think I did it, I got myself squirted all over the place. So another real common sense, easy tip. Some of the things that can help take down the smell, and if you've got that chronic sort of fishy smell, you're gonna to need to do something about it. So one that I did use in vet practice, and I recently reread, is the use of some of the ear cleansing solutions. Uh, so this is one of the veterinary ear cleansing solutions. Many of you probably have them in the house for your dog's ears. And often what we would do is just use that, because it's got a bit of a pleasant smell to it as well, and for whatever reason, seems to help neutralize the odor. So, you know, so I would just squirt some of that onto a you know, little 4x4 gauze or what I'm using here as if it is 4x4 gauze. And then, you know, I just wipe all around your dog's anus where that anal gland smell was. That seemed to really help as far as, you know, taking, really seemed to really help as far as just almost instantly eliminating the odor, especially when we were in clinic and I have someone coming in 10 minutes later. It's nice to really, an easy way to quickly decrease the smell. And then one of the newer ways, one of my newer topical you know, anti-smelling remedies is a combination. It's one we actually discussed in terms of a, a more natural dog bath. It could also be re reused really well if we're looking at, you know, trying to decrease the smell, especially that anal gland smell. So what I'm using here, it's, it's a natural, oil-based, so plant-based oil, you know, including olive oil, coconut oil, etc. soap. It's called Castile soap. So it's a concentrated soap. You know, I just picked this up from my co-op. You know, this is about a half a cup, if it was upwards of a cup. And yeah, it cost me about five or six dollars. So this is gonna last me probably half a year. So in terms of making the combination or the recipe, generally what you're looking at doing is two tablespoons of this soap to about a half a cup of water which is what I've done in here. Um, and I actually used a half a cup of this green tea because it's antiseptic. I'll put the recipe, uh, you'll see a picture up here in the video. So I've got a half a cup of green tea, uh, two, tablespo two tablespoons of this Castile soap, and then what I put in is 10 drops of this lavender essential oil. So it actually smells pretty good. And I just used in one of these disposable uh, shampoo bottles that I just rinsed out again. So it smells kind of nice. And so I'm just once again, just squirting some of that. And you can see it comes out kind of greenish looking, right? Cause that's the, the green tea. So I'm just squirting some of that on a type of gauze. <clears throat> smells really nice. And then just sort of wiping all around your dog's anus to get rid of that smell. Tula is gonna smell so good. And the last one is one I, I recently read on a veterinary site and it sort of makes sense. They're actually using a deodorant. So say you've got this real strong smell. Maybe you tried my natural remedy, you tried the ear wash, it's not working. What else could you consider using? Here it is here, this is Old Spice. So it's just deodorant. And once again, it works pretty quick in terms of decreasing that smell. And all you're doing is wiping it on something such as a little piece of gauze, just that bit of deodorant. And a little strip of it. So it probably would be deodorant, you don't use it at your house. Um, yes, this is deodorant, I won't be using anymore. It stays with your dog, stays in your clinic. And then you're just gonna use some of that. Once it's girl toilet, we don't want you to take off. And then once again, just wiping that all around your dog's anus, or get express those anal glands. Poor girl Tula. Tula smells like a combination of Old Spice and Lavender. Yeah which is obviously much better than the fishy anal gland smell. So if your dog has uh, that fishy smell, you go through all the steps, express your dog's anal glands. If you're doing that regularly, you know, consider using some of those suggestions just to make it a more pleasant experience. 
And then secondly, too, just a strong odor, nothing's dealing with the smell. Try some of those suggestions as well. I'm hoping some of them work. Now, I'd love to get some feedback from you guys. So if you've tried some of that stuff, you're finding it helpful, feel free to leave me a comment. Once again, thanks for watching and I look forward to talking to you again very soon. This is Dr. Jones. Thank you for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. What I want you to do now is for, click down there to like this video, click up there to subscribe to my channel, then lastly go ahead click that link way in the box below, and then when you sign up for my newsletter I can send you my free books and videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies.